Hi, in this video, we'll look at a quick example of some of the AMC test tips mentioned in the previous video. So let's look at our example problem 14 from the AMC 12A. We have points K, L, M, N lying in the plane of square A, B, C, D, so that the four triangles are all equilateral triangles. And if square A, B, C, D has area 16, find the area of K, L, M, N. Now, given the symmetry of this figure, if uh, the inner quadrilateral is a square and these are all equilateral triangles, then it stands to reason that the outside quadrilateral is also a square. And it seems like we could work out the diagonal of that larger square by adding up the altitude of these two equilateral triangles to the side of the inner square. And that looks like the mathematical approach to uh, solving this problem. But for our purposes, let's see if we can make a quick estimate of the answer using some of the tips we talked about. So let's try to measure some of the, uh, the lengths on this figure. Uh, let's take a look at the length of the inner square. It uh, looks like it's 3.1 centimeters in length. And uh, let's take a look at the length of the outer square. It looks like it's uh, exactly 6 centimeters. So the ratio of the lengths is uh, 6 to uh, 3.1. And that's just a little bit less than a factor of 2. So the ratio of the area of the two squares is the square of this ratio. And that's going to be just a little bit less than 4. So from that, we can sort of make a pretty quick estimate as to the area of the outside square. Because the area of the inner square is 16. We know that the ratio is a little less than 4. So we know the answer of the area of KLMN is just a little bit less than 64. And from that, we can look at these answers and see that, well, this is just a little bit too big. That looks a little bit too small. Uh, these two answers are even smaller than 48 because we know that all the answers are written in increasing order. So we can eliminate those two. And so we can pretty much quickly guess that the answer is probably 32 plus 16 over radical 3. And if you plug in radical 3 of uh, 1.73, you can see that this number does come out to be just a little bit less than 64. So that's, in fact, the correct answer. And if you work this out a little more carefully uh, after the test, you would see that the, uh, the ratio that we came up with, uh, 6.0 over 3.1 squared, is exactly uh, or roughly uh, 3.75. And if you worked out the ratio of the exact answer, you'd end up with 32 plus 16 radical 3 over 16. And uh, that's equal to 2 plus uh, radical 3. And that's equal to 3.73. So that's pretty, pretty close. So just a basic simple uh, ruler measurement uh, gave us the answer that was correct to within about a percent. Now you have to be careful to make sure that this drawing is not uh, skewed in some way and that it is in fact a scale drawing. And so you may want to make a few checks to be sure that the, the people who drew this figure aren't trying to fool you. So one thing you may want to do is take a look at the sides of the square and make sure they're equal. 3.1 centimeters, 3.1 centimeters, and you may want to check to make sure that the sides of the uh, equilateral triangle are all the same. So 3.1, 3.1, and 3.1. So it looks like this is in fact a fair and uh, accurate scale drawing and uh, one that you can rely upon to make measurements to uh, estimate the correct answer. So anyway, those are some of the considerations that you may want to look at when you're trying to evaluate uh, a problem statement and look for the quickest way to either solve the problem or at least estimate what you think is the correct answer. So hope that helps, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.